I think my husband has looking for a record of how many projects he can start at once. The boat is completely torn apart, not one level surface uncovered. We're working on the solar charge controller. I think we did a little work on the AC. I'm not sure about that. Then over here, putting stuff away over here. Got the tools out working on the alternator up here. In the generator compartment, checking out the batteries up there. And I'm not sure what he's got going on down here. I this on board. Yes, I think so. What you doing down here? What? What is it that you're working on down here? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm putting epoxy between the dividers in my screw bin so that they were coming out on me. I see. I, I was just showing the wonderful world of YouTube how your brain works, how you got 70 projects open at once up here. You'll have that. <laughs> You'll have that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is The Space Between. I'm on vacation every single day cuz I love my occupation hey, 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 I'm on vacation every single day every every single day everybody sour like a lemon tree I'm just smiling down upon my enemies do the shit I love it on a daily say you hate your job but you'll never leave never leave but that ain't gonna be me that ain't gonna be me my brother called me upset he saw me on TV. So we just picked up our lot of solar cells, finally, from Sailor Man. Loaded them up with the truck. Of course, did a fantastic job videoing it all. Can't you see? And now... We're videoing it all. Where we find ourselves back at Sailor Man. For the second time today. Baxter, you're on video. Oh, Smile, you're on Candid Canberra. Okay, so what did we say we needed? We need. I can read my own handwriting through the camera, probably not. Um, two round 60s and or or they can be rectangles too, or and four round bases, 45s Wait a minute. and Base, 60. Square bases that were on the back of the. Two of them at 60 degrees. So that's one. Got one brother on film. I guess now we gotta get the other one. How are we doing? <laughs> Fantastic. What are we doing? Um, we're putting some stanchion bases up to see which one is which. Why do those look like they're the exact same? No, they're not. One's 60. No. That's 60. Angles. That's 30. So what we're trying to do is get our angles close enough. This is where the back stanchion is going to go for the solar cells. And what we're going to do is that'll come up, we'll T bar across, and then um, we will bring the welder down and we'll weld them all. We'll run another bar across here and do the same thing. And then what we're going to do is put these under, we're going to drop this and we'll leave the load from these and then we're going to pre-tension these using the back stay off of the boom put these under pre-tension and then tighten down the solar cells so it is actually pulling this away on these arms because this is not at the angle that it's at it'll be pulling like this which will give extra support to these so we're not putting all the weight of the solar cells on these will be distributing most of the weight of the solar cells up here. <coughs> it's not that's it's th not that our dinghy's a little fluffy or anything, but <laughs> our dinghy's a little fluffy. So that's the theory of what we're trying to accomplish. <coughs> that is the theory. I'm sure everything will go according to theory because that's yeah. that's the way it usually goes down. Of course. I'm going to cut this out and come. <coughs> Oh no, we we'll get the round pads. These are square. We'll get the like round that? Ones. Yeah, like this one. And then they will give us the better adhesion and then, yeah, that's the right there. 
Okay, so we don't need any of these. What it looks like is we need two, four, possibly six of these put in the round. And then we're going to need... From where? Um, Lewis has them. <laughs> Land and Sea. I know West would have them. <laughs> <laughs> Not the answer I was going for. Oh, right. We got to being hoard out. <laughs> that sailor man we're going to get him. Where do you think we got him from? Hoard out. The one. The only. Dun, dun, dun. So four cells. It puts us right here. And with five cells, it puts us out here. No. What did we say? Four cells? Uh, eight and an eighth. No, four cells. Oh, four is six and a half. Six and a half. That's here. Eight. Wait, eight? Eight and, a eight, eight and an eighth. Okay, I got it now. Here's the camera. So, here. The five cells puts the corner here. Four cells puts the corner here. This is more in line with the boat. The problem with the fifth cell is, is that these four cells are going to be, two of them are going to be run in parallel, and two of them are going to be run in series. Are the two sets that are in series will be ran in parallel with the other two sets. So if you add a fifth cell to it, that, that fifth cell would have to either up the voltage of the other two, which kind of <clears throat> doesn't really, or we would have to just make that fifth cell go down and feed 12 volts only. Which I could see that too. <clears throat> so basically I stuck the bar up here. Once we get them set with the set screws, um, I'm taking them back in the shop in there and then welding them and putting a tack weld on them. And then we'll grind and polish them smooth um, but that just keeps, that's an extra backup for these set screws because a boat likes to give and twist and flex a lot and you don't want a lot of that in the, um, in the solar cells. So I'm off to an early start. Final measurements and up goes panel one. Now right about here I realize that these panels are not super heavy but they are about 60 pounds a piece and they do weigh quite a bit over your head after a while so I decided it was time to put a little bit of safety and added the halyard to the end of them just so they couldn't go swimming. Now by midday I was striking the third panel and already gone through one shirt change. Now if you're wondering how I'm mounting these I made these little brackets with a stainless steel top on them that had a screw on each side that would hold one side of each panel. Got that fourth panel up by now I'm running on empty, but I got to get this job done. So I throw the spinnaker halyard back over to the back. We're going to connect that up. We're going to put the whole thing under tension and then tighten everything down. Got all the panels torqued down nice and tight, threw off the spinnaker line, went ahead and made my final power connections, and voila! We have power. Now the sun's starting to set, so it's not the greatest power, but we are getting right at 87 volts. All in all, I think it was a pretty clean install and pretty aesthetically pleasing for a do-it-yourself job. Now I just have to clean up the top of the dodger and get some flexible cells up there to add them to the system. Grooves in here so that rain and water can pass between so that you don't get any uh, oxidization so you don't get any oxidization so you don't get any oxidation or rust under the uh, unit itself. <laughs> 